with this just in, uh, Fox News has confirmed the House will move forward to cite Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg for contempt of Congress. House Republicans say the social media giant has not turned over enough documents that would shine a light on the company's censorship. FBN's Hillary Vaughn is reporting on this for us live on Capitol Hill. Hillary, what exactly are you learning? Sandra, this is all a part of the House Judiciary Committee's investigation into whether or not Meta coordinated with the White House and the executive branch to censor um, people on their platform and in, by extension, violating the First Amendment rights of users on their platform. But Meta has handed over documents to the committee. The committee, though, says these documents do not suffice. They are not actively complying with the subpoena request for information. They first issued the subpoena back in February. In May, the committee reached out to Meta, saying that so far what they turned over was insufficient and that they were failing to comply. Today, Meta handed over even more internal documents to the committee, uh, but the committee, sources on the committee tell me that that is not enough. Meta is reacting to this scheduled hearing to try to cite Zuckerberg for contempt, telling me this. We began sharing documents before the committee's February subpoena and have continued to do so. To date, we have delivered over 53,000 pages of documents, both internal and external, and have made nearly a dozen current and former employees available to discuss external and internal matters, including some scheduled this very week. But in the committee's contempt report, we're getting insight into what they say they needed and that they did not get from Meta, saying this. The committee has a particular need for Meta's internal documents, which would shed light on how Meta understood, evaluated, and responded to the executive branch's requests or directives to censor content, as well as Meta's decision-making process to censor viewpoints in the modern town square. Now, Sandra, if held in contempt, Zuckerberg could face up to a year in jail, but that's only if the DOJ or the U.S. attorney were to move forward with prosecution. That is not very likely, so it could be that even if they did cite Zuckerberg with contempt, ultimately it would just be a symbolic gesture or possibly just a way to send a message to big tech that House Republicans are coming for them. Sandra? Hillary Vaughn, breaking all the details on that for us at this hour. Appreciate it, Hillary. Keep us posted on developments. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.